Session 76. No New Year's Party. Julia and Stephanie are flatmates. They have both come down with the flu and are both curled up on the couch with blankets, feeling quite sorry for themselves, watching the New Year celebrations on the television. If I had not caught this flu, I'd be up there now, counting down the bells and singing Old Lang Syne. I know, I had a date for tonight, but who's going to kiss me at midnight with this cold? We could still open a bottle of wine and see the new year in together. It will just be wasted on me. I can't taste a thing. If you start singing, I will have to kill you. My headache is getting much worse. I've never felt so fragile. Do you want another lemon and honey drink? It takes the edge off a little bit. I'll have one in a little while. Could you pass me the box of tissues? Sure. Here you go. Thanks. If I don't feel better in a couple of days, I'll have to make an appointment with the doctor. I'll need a sick note for work. What a great start to the new year. Well, there's nothing that can be done about it now. With hindsight, we should have taken precautions. Like what? Wearing masks and keeping people at a distance with a long stick? Don't be silly. I mean topping up on vitamin C, getting a better light sleep. Maybe I wouldn't feel so terrible. There's no way to know that. Of course, prevention is better than cure. But at this time of year, so many people get sick. It's unavoidable. I feel like I'm dying. Can I have your stuff? Love you too. I'll take that drink now. Sure. Julia goes off to make a couple of hot drinks, while Stephanie continues to watch the television. Julia returns a few minutes later. Here you go. Aw, oh, thanks doll. This year has gone so fast. I can't even remember what we did for last New Year's. We went to Sophie's. She and John had just moved into that new house, so it was an excuse to have a housewarming together with the New Year party. Oh yes, of course. Oh my, I did get very drunk. I can't believe I kissed George. Oh, George is nice. He really likes you. I know he's nice, but his job freaks me out. I couldn't go out of a microbiologist. I'd just be thinking about all those germs and infections he handles every day. It's all very controlled. He does use sterilised equipment and wears protective clothing. I know, I know, but I can't stop thinking about it. And it gives me the shivers. It's not fair on him, but I can't help it. I don't think it would bother me so much. But I do know what you mean. Oh, here come the bells. The bells toll down and the television bears out old Lang Syne. Happy New Year, Jules. Happy New Year, Steph. I hope it's a great year for you. You too, my friend. All the best. They clink their cups of lemon and honey and continue to listen to the singing.